It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we have a bottle of beer from Brewery Edge. Uh, it's a Dutch craft beer. A Dutch craft beer. I'm really, really looking forward to this one. Uh, the Netherlands, as I'm kind of recording this, um, they've made it to the next round of... Uh, they got out of the group stages of the uh, World Cup. Fair play to them. Absolutely fair play. Uh, they're back on the up, the Netherlands football team. So congratulations to the Netherlands uh, with their football. Um, I'm looking forward to this. It's not just the beer that I'm reviewing today. It's a spice triple at 9% ABV brewed with Saz hops. But we also have some, some Dutch crisps, some Chio chips, kettle cooked sea salt flavour. 150 grams. Yeah, happy days. So we'll get into the crisps in a moment, but I want to open the beer first. But before I do, I want to say a massive thank you to Simon from the Netherlands for contacting us and saying, hey, do you want to try some beer? Absolutely we do. Thank you. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get then. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. I'm going to use, I've just changed my mind. I've got a slightly higher... Let me show you. Slightly taller glass, but I want to use this one. It's slightly kind of more rounded. It's more bowl shaped. I think this would be better for a triple. <clears throat> We're allowed to change our minds, aren't we? We're allowed to make on the spot decisions about our beer and what, how, what, how we want to present our beer. <laughs> So thank you very much, Simon, from the Netherlands. A really lovely gesture. Thank you very much for the beer. Uh, on we go with the review then. So the head's dissipating quite quickly. So no real head on the beer at all. You could hear it hissing and fizzing and dissipating very quickly as I was pouring the beer. Um, but that doesn't mean it's not carbonated. As you rock the beer back and forth, you can see the carbonation rising up the side of the glass. It's a slightly hazy Straw, amberish coloured beer. Uh, let's get the aroma. Wow, amazing. Uh, one step I missed along the way. Uh, very quickly, I just want to see if there's any sediment in the bottom of the glass. There's no sediment in the bottom of the glass whatsoever. It's, it's a filtered beer. They've... It's unfiltered, but it's been filtered enough that there's no sediment in the bottom of this particular beer. The aroma is lovely. The aroma is of like spicy marmalade. A touch of lime. So orangey, spicy, touch of lime, bit of lemon. When they say spiced, it really is spiced. It really is. It's like a combination of black and white pepper. There's a little level of sweetness in there to balance off that spice. It smells absolutely delicious. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, wow, it's 9% ABV. I'm reviewing this on a cold winter's morning with my back door open because of the acoustics in this bar. Got to have the door open and it's fresh this morning. I'm not going to mess about. It's about five or six degrees out there. And it's pretty damn cold. And to drink a 9% triple, to feel that warming of the alcohol that's sliding down the throat into the pit of the stomach. You're getting that alcohol warming, you're getting that kind of warming from the inside out. It's wonderful because my hands, you can see they're slightly, they're a bit cold. It's a bit chilly out here. 
but it's satisfying. It's lovely to have something like this to warm you from the inside out. The Saz hops are coming through lovely. It's a marmalady, orangey, spicy, peppery. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. It's got a slight kind of, of course, it's 9% ABV, so you can have a slight kind of medium mouthfeel on this one. It's It's got a slight, a slight, not creaminess, but you know it's got, it's got a lot of malt in there to get it to 9% ABV. But it's also got that sweetness, that little bit of sweetness over there to balance things off with that sass hot bitterness over here. The spices are over here as well. They start off the spices in the middle of the beer and then they make their way over to the back end of the beer. So sweetness, bitterness, balance, but with a slight spiciness in the middle. It's really lovely. <clears throat> it's a really lovely beer. Uh, special number 80, triple. And that's as far as I'm going to go. Um, it's an extra beer. Um, and then it says Prost at the end. So my understanding of language is getting a little bit better. Um, I don't know Dutch uh, language at all, but I've picked up a little bit there. Because it sounds a little bit British, I suppose. Special number 80. <laughs> Um, anyway, anyway, let's open the crisps. Let's see what these um, extra crunchy Chio potato crisps are like. Oh, yeah, they're, they're those. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, the salt caught my throat as I got my nose in. Um, I would call these a European style crisp. Have a look at them. All the chips are curled. They've been cooked at a high heat. They've all curled over. But they're very golden. Now my favorite crisp in the world, when done correctly. Mm. Ho, ho, ho. My favorite, whenever I visit my family in Italy, I'll go to the supermarket, I'll buy a load of good quality Italian beer and I'll buy the biggest sack of Italian sea salted potato chips that I can find. And my mother-in-law looks at me like I'm mad. My mother, my mother-in-law used to live in the UK and uh, she used to love her bacon frazzles and all of the onion ring type crisps and all of these other things, all of the nice flavours we have over here in the UK. Because you don't get you don't get a lot of the flavours we do here in the UK in places like Italy or I don't know about Holland. I can't say about Holland because um that would be silly of me, wouldn't it? Because it's a completely different country. But my mother in law doesn't understand it that I'll grab a load of beer and a big sack of ready salted or sea salted crisps. There's a reason for that. There's a reason why there's so many salted potato chips in Europe. And that's because the Europeans drink a lot of beer. And for me, the ultimate beer snack with any beer, Imperial Stout, Lager, Hoppy spice triples is the plain potato salted chip. Mm. So crunchy, so lovely, so light. Oh. The quality of the, <coughs> the 
The quality of the potato is fantastic. Absolutely spot on. It just works. The potato and the salt is enough to give you flavour, but it's not enough to interfere with the flavours of the beer. And that's important to me. If you're drinking an Imperial Stout or a fantastic spice triple like this, you don't want bacon frazzle artificial flavours. You don't want mazy onion rings to mess up the flavour of the spice triple. You want a plain potato chip with salt on that you can enjoy if you get a bit snacky but it doesn't interfere with the beer. And that's why the Europeans eat so many sea salted chips or salted, ready salted crisps. It's because of that very reason. They don't want it to interfere with their beer. Rating for the beer, looks good, smells good, tastes good. I absolutely love that. That is brilliant. It's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant beer. 9% ABV, warming me from the inside out. It's freezing out here. I like the beer enough to give it a stone to crows, nine out of 10. A nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. The crisps are fantastic. They're also gonna get a nine out of 10. Thank you very much to Simon for sending. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.